why being skinny is the best for growing taller and why you need to keep the scale in check. You see the same phenomenon all the time. Very skinny people, but they are very tall and it just doesn't make sense at all. It's a universal occurrence among all 196 countries. This is because being skinny actually helps you to grow taller. The reason skinny guys become so tall is dependent on various factors which I'm gonna explain in depth. So let's not waste any more time and begin. The moment you carry extra weight with you, you are essentially carrying more mass with you which the earth wants to pull. This is just a sophisticated way to explain gravity. When you're carrying more weight with you, you also suffer from far more gravity and this is not fat shaming but simply a natural law. So when you got more gravity, you'll be pulled more into the earth. You may be familiar with the fact that you are 2 inches tall in the morning as opposed to you at night. This is because in the morning you just lied in your bed for around 8 hours and didn't have any gravity pulling on your spine, compressing it and stealing height away. You might or might not be aware of it, but you are 2 inches taller when you wake up in the morning as opposed to when you go to sleep at night. This has everything to do with gravity and the effects it has on your intervertebral discs in your body. When you are lying flat in your bed there is no gravity which is squeezing your intervertebral discs. Intervertebral discs are the discs made out of cartilage that sit between each and every single one of your vertebrae. These discs account for around 33% of the height of your spine and 15% of your full height. Since they're made out of cartilage, they are much more malleable than bone and are especially susceptible to soft forces like gravity, which compress these intervertebral discs and steal inches of your height. If you want to know more about this in detail, I suggest you check out the video I made on the topic a while ago. So to summarize. Bigger people will have more unnecessary weight that will put more gravity on their body and shorten their spine, whereas skinny people would have much less gravity on their spine which results in them getting taller. Like everyone knows, skinny people don't have much fat on their body, and this lack of fat is another reason why being skinny is the best way to grow taller. You see, this lack of fat actually has very beneficial effects on the endocrine system, which means it will be beneficial to the balance of hormones in your body. In biology, we have a specific name for fat tissue, namely adipose tissue. It is in adipose tissue where the enzyme called aromatase is present. Don't forget the name of this enzyme, since it's really important. This enzyme actually reduces height growth, it does so by aromatizing various androgens in your body into estrogens. So this enzyme reduces your testosterone while also increasing the amount of estrogen in your body. This is one of the worst things that can happen to your height growth journey, as testosterone is perhaps one of the most important hormones for your body to grow taller, while estrogen is one of the worst hormones to have increased when you want to grow, and the aromatase flips the coin on two bad sides here. Don't worry, I will elaborate why these hormones are so critical to keep in check. First of all, testosterone is one of the most famous hormones in the world, almost everyone knows about it. This hormone is associated with muscle growth, but what many don't know is that this hormone grows your bones too. It does so through various means. The first thing is that testosterone increases the amount of osteoblasts in your body. These are the cells that create bone in your body. Then, testosterone also inhibits osteoclasts. These are the cells that resorb bone in your body. Finally, testosterone also increases various growth hormones, which like the name already suggests, helps you grow taller. Besides losing fat, there is also another thing you can do to increase your testosterone and grow taller, which is royal jelly. Royal jelly is one of the most potent testosterone boosters in the world and has been used by countless important people in the world, including various pharaohs, popes and members of the English royal family. In fact, there even was one study where they fed royal jelly to 12-year-old football players and it was concluded that the players that took royal jelly grew much more in height than the ones that did not. You can get the best royal jelly in the link in the description. But now, let's move on without dwelling too much away from the subject. Estrogen is absolutely fatal to high growth and is actually the reason that your growth plates close during puberty. It speeds up the ossification of the epiphyseal plates, which are just fancy words for closing your growth plates. Estrogen does this through various means. Inhibiting chondrocyte differentiation is the main one, which basically means that it stops the cartilage and the growth plates from multiplying. Then it also stimulates mineralization of cartilage, which means that the growth plates will be pumped full with minerals such as calcium and phosphor in the form of hydroxyapatite. It is this combination of a reduction in testosterone and an increase in estrogen which makes the aromatase and fat tissue so fatal to high growth. Besides the fact that being skinny helps you to grow taller, it is also the fact that people are skinny being indicative of them doing lots of things right regarding height growth. In contradiction to what the mainstream says, being skinny is more than just a matter of calories and equaling calories out. 
Metabolism does play a huge role. Being skinny correlates to having a well-functioning and fast metabolism, which, complementing the theme of this video, is good for height growth. But why? This is because the metabolism is mostly dependent on the functioning of the thyroid and how well it does its job at producing 3-idothyronine, which is also known as T3. T3 is the hormone which oversees your metabolism with high levels of T3 resulting in a fast metabolism and low levels of T3 causing a slowed metabolism. A skinny individual almost always has above average levels of T3. This is another reason to why being skinny is the best for height growth because the T3 created by a healthy thyroid does more than just speed up your metabolism. It has specific effects on the various compounds in your body, which I've mentioned earlier in this video. T3 upregulates osteoblast activity while also increasing levels of testosterone and growth hormone in your body, and it downregulates the osteoclast and decreases estrogen. If you want to increase your levels of T3, I suggest you check out my Instagram page where I post daily information on biology related stuff like increasing T3. Moving on. Skinny people tend to be taller not just because they have a fast metabolism, but also because they exercise a lot. Or maybe they have a fast metabolism because they exercise a lot. Exercising is crucial for high growth and not just in the boring way that doctors talk about it. Exercises such as football, basketball or sprinting, which involve a lot of sprinting or jumping, put a lot of stress on the bones. Stress in the form of microfractures to be exact. Microfractures are very small fractures in your bones which the osteoblasts eventually fill up. It's when you create a lot of microfractures in your bones that the bone will actually grow in length because of how much bone the osteoblasts have laid down. Some things like an increased consumption of specific nutrients such as magnesium, glycine or even boron will also lead to an increased activity of osteoblasts and thereby bone growth. It's actually one of the core principles I teach in the skyscraper method, which is a course I made for people that have went through their growth spurt but are still not satisfied with their height. If you follow the lessons in the skyscraper method consistently, you could gain around 5 to 10 centimeters of height in one year. This can be done at any age, so if you're interested, I suggest you check out the description where I have left a link to the course. This video may have been a short one, so if you want to learn more about all this in detail, I suggest you follow my Instagram where I post about this stuff daily and I'll perhaps make a part 2 version of this video. Also, don't forget to check the products I have linked in the description as they can really help you on your way to improve your height. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.